G'day, this is a video of the um, Garmin GPS map 557XS. Um, I've had an issue with the transducer that I've just bought for this unit. If you buy this unit with no transducer or you buy one with a transducer and your transducer gets damaged, I went and bought a brand new GT20 which is basically the same as the one that supplied the unit. But there's a problem with the aftermarket supply GT20. It's not a problem, but it's it's something that's not built into the 557 XS or the 527 or the 547 XS. So basically, the, the reason why you're seeing this cable here, this is a 12-pin connector and this is a 8-pin connector. This changes the 8-pin to the 12-pin connection. Now, there's nothing wrong with the unit. It can take either 8-pin or 12-pin, but the 8-pin does not have XID capabilities basically XID is a chip or something built in the transducer telling the unit um, what model and what type of transducer this is if you buy the transducer that comes with the machine um, the, the machine knows exactly what transducer has been supplied with it so if you go and buy an aftermarket one this XID unit with uh, GT20 with that part number this one is different to the GT20 that's supplied like I said just previously now I'll show you what happens when you plug in the GT20 that's not supplied with the unit that's a, an aftermarket one but a original Garmin one right it's wet because you have to put it well I, I always put it in the water so you don't burn it out um, usually for testing purposes it shouldn't matter um, it does take a while for it to burn out if you don't have the unit in the water so I'll show you quickly what happens so with the GT20 connected to the unit to its original 8 pin connector this is what happens when you turn on the machine the heat unit pin to 8 pin loading the maps so you have to agree to that unsupported transducer so I'm going to connect this 8 pin transducer to 12 pin head unit cable so you can see what happens when you do that and this is all about the XID the XID on the 8 pin doesn't work the same as the XID on the 12 pin I don't even think the head unit does have XID support in the head unit so that's why they told um, the people Garmin told me to put in the 12 pin um, the 8 pin to 12 pin connector on that so that um, it, it can recognize it through the 12 pin connector so I think the technology was a little bit too old on this, although this is upgraded through the chip card. It's got the latest software on it, but it does, still does not support XID for this specific transducer through the 8-pin connector. So watch what happens when I change it over to that cable. Okay, so I've got the GPS 557X is connected with that cable in line. And I've got that same unit I've described before that I've bought as a um, as an after sales one so uh, this is what happens when you turn this one on through the 12 point connector you've got no sonar menu uh, there's no sonar menus at all when you've got it in the 8 pin when it doesn't recognize the transducer Australia New Zealand mapping, that's why GPS map 507 XS and voila Sonar traditional down view, traditional down view, split frequencies and there we go. Transducer is disabled. I've done that on purpose. Uh, I can switch that on. Okay. The transducers in the water 
in a bucket of water. So it's starting to transmit. I'll just go. Oh, yeah, that's why. It's in the bucket of water, but we're starting to see the signal there. It's in the bucket. That's why it's giving me that. You won't see any fish because there's no fish underneath the boat. All in the bucket of water. So I'll go back. And, and you can. We need to change this. Um, you can go there. Go menu. Frequency. It's a 200 kilohertz. 207 kilohertz. There we go. And then we've got back. We can go to the menu. And then. Oh. Well, that's basically a 200 kilohertz, it looks like it. It does have chirp capability as well. I just don't know how to access that at the moment. Maybe because I'm in the wrong menu. I'm probably in the wrong menu. But um, it does have chirp capability as well. Oh, it is actually, it's got chirp there now. There we go. Set up. Yeah, I can't remember where I've done that, but it's set up for chip. I go back, traditional and down there. You can either have it vertical or you can have it horizontal. So you can split it like that and just go through as that. Yes, so we have chip, we have 200, we have 77 kilohertz. Menu, uh, traditional. Um, how do I do this? Menu, select frequency. Uh, those are the two frequencies I've got in traditional. And then obviously I've got, it seems like I've got chip on my down view. And I'm pretty sure you can No, you can't You can't But we've got chip, we've got 200 and we've got 77 kilohertz with this specific um, transducer Well there we go Hope this was helpful And Garmin should actually make this more explanatory why you had to buy that cable but it seems like it's because the main reason is because of the XID function um, I have tried more modern 12 pin transducers on this which didn't work on this unit because then it gave me just the same thing uh, more um, compatible with the unit and I think it was because it had other f features which is not built into this head unit and it's the same with this unit um, at the moment it looks like that the 12 pin was more advanced than the 8 pin and that's why we're stuck with this but it works finally it works i've got it it's coming thank you cheers bye bye